Hello everyone, we are in Song Su Song Help Song Su Song Su today. We are at this place called Common Ground, which I think is like some sort of shopping markety area that's made from shipping containers or something. I don't know much about it. Sally really wanted to go here. Um, today we didn't really get up to much. We just went to another cafe. Uh, this cafe was called Peace Cafe and it was really cool and the coffee was really nice and it's just a nice place to hang out and yeah let's explore this area. Common ground. Here's a sign of the area. Yeah, market hall, street market, select shop. Wonder what collector's edition is. Oh, it's like shopping, like clothes. So it's like collector's edition clothes. Very cute. I feel that. Dude, enjoy the your life. <laughs> I like calculation. There's this uh, cool market on the roof with food. Looks really, really funky actually. I don't know what sort of food there is, but looks cool. There's been a lot of Christmas trees still hanging around here in Korea. Two months later. Hello. It's our Psyduck. I think it's exactly the same. He just looks different because he's cleaner and newer here. Go. Cool. And I think that's all it is up here. Just shops, a little bit of food, some mini arcade things, and yeah, just a fun little place, I guess, if you want to shop and grab something to eat. We're just going for a walk down what was meant to be a theme street, but I don't think it is. Unless the theme is DHL trucks. Sally has told me that she has seen this place on TikTok. It's a cafe. It's a really weird around here because it's like a mix of like really trendy places and then like mechanics and all this like industrial use. It's, it's quite strange, really strange contrast. What's this? Pan Am. Pan Am. Is that an airline? That is an airline. What, what do you do? Is like electric bikes? I'm gonna walk in. This is weird. I really thought Pan Am was like an airline, but do they have like a clothing brand too? I keep feeling like I'm gonna walk into some glass. I have absolutely no sense of like where I am. We stand coffee. What do you stand? You stand. I stand coffee. Found some kind of cool pizza by the slice plate. Plate, place, plate, place. I messed that up. It's pretty expensive though. What on earth have we found this time? I don't know what that place was. It's just called Songsu Space, and I'm scared because I tried to go in there, and she just said wait. And then we were waiting, and people kept going in, and there was an iPad at the front, and I didn't know what to do. So we saw it from the outside, and that's good enough. I got scared. All right, this street seems like it has a bit more happening. There's like shops and cafes and that. So we'll just keep walking down here and see what we can find. don't know what this is, just said vintage select shop. So we're just going to walk down the mystery stairs. I don't know. Alright, we're blocked by rubbish. Never mind. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very cool looking cafe. Okay. 
This is the first place I've seen that has oat milk anywhere. So the further down we go, the more interesting stuff we get. But we're still mixed in with lots of different like industrial uses. But you just keep running into like little cafes, little restaurants. It's a lot more people as you go further down. And Ooh. and we also found a place called Da Poke. I love this sign, heavy steak. I do want to have a delicious day. Is this the store for you? A curated store for the artistic mind. This place is incredibly cramped. It must be very popular though. Oh my god, that place was so busy. It wasn't that good either. I think we're coming to the end of the street now. Um, I might overlay a map to show where we walked. Because we just walked from common ground down to street. And you think you're not really going anywhere, but you sort of, things just pop up. So, yeah, I'll put that up there. Um, we're going to continue walking because we actually have a final destination to get to. Uh, we're probably like 15 minute walk away. Um, not sure what else we're running to between here and there, but let's see. What I'm liking so far about Seoul is like you walk down some streets that look like absolutely nothing and like a cafe just sort of pops up. And it's a lot of hair studios for sure. But like you, it's not really a, anything of a street, it's just residential. And you don't think you're gonna find anything, you just never know what you're gonna find. Like this, there is a sign here for something. Green Fusion Bistro. I mean, you can just find anything down here. Like, this is what I'm looking at right now. Construction back of like people's apartments. Trendiest looking cafe in the world. Random alleyway. Random alleyway. Random alleyway turns into a bunch of lights. Restaurants and stuff like that. I'm starting to get hungry. We missed a little bit from our destination, but we just keep running into things. Oh, that heads to Seoul Forest. That's kind of cool. Absolute disaster. The place that I was planning on going to is closed. And it was meant to be like a gluten-free bakery and I meant to do like gluten-free and vegan burgers and other things. And I was really excited for it because it's really hard to find gluten-free stuff. But, oh well, let's find something else. Alright, we found somewhere at least. Um, we missed it actually because the sign was really small. Hanoi 102. Vietnamese place. Um, looks kind of cool. Looked a bit fancy. When you get in there, it looks like a typical dingy Vietnamese place. <laughs> but, no, uh, this should be okay. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. Is our dinner. It smells good. We have just had dinner and we're trying to walk to Seoul Forest. Um, I don't really know where the entrance is. I saw a sign pointing it to it once but I forgot where it was. And now we just sort of got into a park that I think is Seoul Forest but I'm not really sure. It's kind of like dark and it's very cold. It's like reasonably lit and there's people around so it's all right but I don't know I don't know where to walk to maybe tonight it's not the best time to do this because it's freezing and this is what we see this is our creepy park we're walking through oh my god all right we've got a sign Apple Center. Here, like. 
Let's go to Mirror Lake. I don't know what I was expecting here. I thought maybe there'd be like something going on, but it is kind of winter and whatnot, and it is nighttime. It's kind of cool, but yeah, I have nothing more to add. Well, this is where we are. This is the whole thing. I feel like going all the way like up there would be kind of cool, it's like rainbow tunnel or something, but I worry that like nothing's really going to be lit up or open here because it's cold and dark. So I don't really want to risk it and walk all the way through. So I think we will head back towards the subway, which is this way. This looks cool though. More containers apparently. All right, this street I believe is called Understand Avenue. At the end of it is our subway stop, Soul Forest, that we want to get to. Never seen this before. It's a smart shelter, and there's just your regular bus shelter. The smart shelter. It's really steep going down to the subway stop. Soul Forest. We are just heading back to our hotel now. It's getting late, we're getting cold, and we kind of want to go to bed. So we're going to call it a day here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We didn't vlog yesterday, we didn't really do an awful lot, just went to another cafe, went to E-Mart again, thought I wouldn't bore you by vlogging E-Mart, but um, today just went out and got some lunch while Sally was working, thought I'd be a good husband and provide her with some food. Went to this kimpa place that we went to yesterday also, called Suradang, I think, um, and I'll show you what we got. Just use the bed full of all our washing. We also did washing today. This is the place. I'll move Sally's sock out of the way. These kimbaps are massive and they have a really big menu. And they all sound very interesting. I think that's Sally's fried tofu one. And I got this egg and bacon one. It sounded like an egg and bacon wrap, but in kimbap form. Looks good. Mm. Mm. Egg and bacon and cheese. Mm. Okay. Loud street, but you've just got me for this afternoon. Sally is working, and I'm gonna go on a solo walk and explore the area a little bit. So, this street seems to run parallel to that other street we're on the other day where we bought some sides and that. Seems to be more fresh produce. On the market since 1952. So that starts to make sense. This whole area must be a large market. It's very awkward because people keep coming out to greet me when I'm walking to the shop, but I'm just looking. I don't know what anything is. I don't want to buy anything. Just had a very uh, awkward conversation trying to find some gloves and she dug through like every single pack in her shop and called her mum to try to find <laughs> whether we had a certain type of gloves and they didn't but I felt really bad because she went to so much effort to try to find it and I didn't end up buying anything This is quite a surprising view I wasn't expecting to find something like this It's a nice little creek running through here with a nice walking path nice old bridge that I might walk across this area is really surprisingly nice. Hello! Okay, we're going here for dinner. It's called Tejo Gumja Guk. 
They sell gum <laughs> Sally's laughing at me. Um, as you can see, it says since 1958. It's meant to be famous. It's been on television and everything. So it's got to be good, right? It's been on TV. Everything has been on TV. Well, it's famous. Let's go. That service is really quick. I mean, this is all they do here, so they just pour it right out. This is it. It's like beef and potatoes and uh, gorilla leaves, sesame seed leaves, gengnip, and like rice noodles. There was a spot where you could just go get your own apron. I've seen lots of people with an apron. It might be messy. I think I'm going to need an apron. There's so much garlic. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but it's spinning everywhere. So maybe that's why you have an apron. We must have looked really confused because she came and served the food for us. <laughs> Looks good though. Describe the flavor. Leafy. Good. Good job. The meat just falls right off the line. What are we? Vlogging. <laughs> full. Yeah, full. You meant to say full. Oh, we weren't on the same page there. <laughs> no. That was so good, that food. It was a little stressful ordering because we didn't know what we were doing, but we figured it out. We followed the couple next to us. They were one step ahead the whole way. Yeah, we just said we'll do the same. Same. Yeah. Um, so that's it for this vlog. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.